Who gives chess first? Oh. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he found it for now. <laughs> ah! Oh, nah. I'm not even close. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Senior man. Yeah, and I know said it. Who is the social butterfly? Who is? Yeah. You believe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I am. Yeah, it takes A lot of people disagree. I'm a very nice person. Very nice. I don't, I don't talk much in public. Nah, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. This guy talks too much. Talks too much. <laughs> talks to my wife. He beats everybody. Talks too much. Talks too much. <laughs> Who prays the most? Like we are looking at our whole life. I'm <laughs> 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 looking at our whole life. I pray what? If I can just be proud, you proud, you pray what? I've, I've done miracle crusade before. <laughs> the one with the white suit. <laughs> you know I pray about that one? <laughs> you know I pray that I pray. I don't know about him. He can say what he wants to say, but it's me. The answer is me. I pray more than him. Who works the hardest? Works. Oh, definitely me. So, his, his schedules are tighter than mine. His schedules are... <laughs> It's, he, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking English, it's definitely it works. No, no, you have you have more work on your on your table than I. So that one, you can take it. He's, I I work more. I work more than him. Who is like inspiring? Oh, him, him, him. I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I think mean, everyone knows. I mean, I mean, it, it, it's a world full of surprises. Maybe you would marry before me. <laughs> No, if I... No, no, no. He's good, bro. <laughs> He's good. This, this, this guy's age. If, if I don't marry already, he's good, he's good. Oh, boy. Who takes longer to get ready? That's a tough one. I don't think any of us. I think it's Dixon because grow my like you, but you bad like you, but what was that like? What was that? Sometimes when they hurry, you say, oh, Charlie, I'm for, I'm for bored or something. You're for bored or something. Much over your body or How? How do you bored or something? You take the longer time. Better you bath or something, I'm done for myself crying. Oh, nah, I mean. Who is more fashionable? Definitely me. I promise you. <laughs> Tim will be the kind of person who wants to wear t shirts and jeans with sneakers. Personally, I prefer. No, I like tans. Tans. no, there are people who also see me and be like, nah, bro, this guy is a serious guy. This guy, like, I mean, t shirt and jeans, me, Charlie, kaftan suit, tie. I think, first of all, God gives everyone the opportunity to choose their friends, to choose the people they allow into their personal space and into their inner circles. And I'm, first of all, grateful for the friendship I found in my brother, Quissy Dixon, because this friendship has been a testament of God's goodness. It's been a testament and, ex and an expression of God's grace, it's been an expression of the might of God, and even been an expression of the divine hand of God, because in this friendship, I'll say that it's catapulted me in various instances, which I'm going to share. One instance I'm going to first of all talk about to be in my Christian walk. See, I mentioned earlier that God gives us, each and every one of us, the opportunity to choose our friends. and. Choosing a brother like Dixon impacted my spiritual walk deeply in the area of prayer because there were seasons or there were times where I obviously didn't feel like praying. But when I spoke to Dixon, not just as a friend, but as a bigger brother, I, I received so much counsel. I received so much upliftment from him where he took me to pray. Literally, I remember there are times where we'll go to the prayer grounds, we'll leave our house, we'll leave our house like go all the way to Legon Campus, the prayer ground, to spend time praying. And most of these times were times where I didn't have the urge to pray. And I reached out to my friend Dixon that, oh, could you pray with me about this? Or could you, could I talk to you about this? And he's like, okay, let's go out and pray. Another area where I'll definitely talk about, I cannot leave out, will be in the area of my finances and in my givings, where since he's basically my closest friend, I used to have like a very healthy competition. I still do have a health, healthy competition with Dixon where from time to time I ask him that, oh, how, how's your partnership going? He's going to tell me that maybe I've done maybe this amount of copies of 
Rhapsody. And I just wonder, ah, like two months ago, I'd passed you. Like, where did you cover past you? Where did you just take the lead like that? Then it just puts me in my feet that, oh, which means I have to put in more prayer. I have to put in more, you know, I have to, I have to do something. I couldn't just let it be. I, it's, I, I was not, it was not an unhealthy thing where you just want to be on top just like that. But my friend was pushing me to do what well. Dixie would not let me sleep. Nana has a very, I would say, weird way of getting you to do something in the sense that, I mean, last year, for example, when after camp and after the New Year's Eve service, uh, we were in a conversation, one of our casual conversations, and Nana goes like, I mean, Charlie, this year, this year, the, uh, it has to happen. This year, something has to happen. So he's like, he'll be doing a prayer session at Visa Lakes every night. Before he could, he could finish telling me, I, I just said that, oh yeah, 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 I would want to do that with him. It was one of the things that really made me appreciate our friendship more. How was life before I met you, Dixit? This is, this is a very interesting question because there are times where I randomly post and I'm like, I just want to randomly or casually say I love you to Dixon. And that's because I just reminisce on like how far we've come to, to together as friends. And I could only thank God for Dixon because sometimes I look at, okay, I'm going to talk for in the area of business, where before I met Dixon, right, uh, as a photographer, I was doing work or I was shooting as out of passion, if you understand what I'm saying, that, oh, I really don't mind if, like, you're not paying me so much. Like, I, I really was doing it because I loved what I do. I love taking pictures. I love holding the camera. But then, one time, the first times, you know, I'm, I'm the first few months I met Dixon. Dixon came to me and was like, I would have to start charging more because I cannot sustain this business with passion, with just passion. So he, he told me, I have, I've got to start charging more. So he told me that, okay, there's a certain job he wants us to like shoot. And I should mention any amount I was going to like charge. I still felt like, am I being too extra if I'm mentioning price? Like, okay, if you guys have a budget, just, I, I just don't want to come off like I'm, a, I'm too demanding for money, all of that. And Dick was like, okay, I should mention any price. So I mentioned a certain, a certain price. He was like, am I very, very sure? I'm like, yeah. And at that time, that was going to be the highest I'd, I'd ever charged for like a personal job. So I, I said, oh yeah, I'm very, very sure. And Dixon says, okay. So the following day, I think it, a week after, no, a week after, actually, Dixon comes back to me. It's like, okay, the payment, the the job I said I was going to do for this this amount, the client says, okay, we should go ahead. Then he's like, am I interested in knowing how, how much he charged on my behalf for the job? And I'm like, yeah, sure, tell me. And Dixon actually charged about five times more what what I had mentioned. So I was like, so the five times more you charge, are you going to give me all or something like? He's like, no. <laughs> He's like, he wants to teach me a valuable, a valuable lesson. He said it, that was, those were his actual words. I want to teach you a valuable lesson that you would have to start charging more. So he gave me the amount I mentioned. I don't know if he kept the rest of the rest, but he said he was never going to give it to me because I'll have to learn to start charging more. So I think I can say life before, I didn't really have like a structure for my business, but like as I partnered with Dixon, even in our corporate photography and film business, I could, I can see that there's been a definite structure that's appeared in my business now. There's been a definite structure of, of payments, of financing, of salaries, of, of you know, contracting vendors and everything. So I can say for a fact that I've seen a more structured life ever since I met Dixon. Nana has constantly been an inspiration for me because when I came to church, he's one of the first people I met and I just knew that there was something about him. Even at the time, I didn't think or I didn't know we were going to be friends because, I mean, he was in the media team and when I joined church, I told myself that I was going to just come and sit. Pastor is done, I go home. So, let me be close, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm not waiting for anybody, I'm not waiting for anything. But, like I said, there was something about Nana the, from the first conversation we had. I just knew that even recently he drew, I mean, he went all the way to the first time I texted him and how I was saying, yes, please say, uh, oh, yes, yes, sir, uh, thank you for the opportunity. And I mean, we made, we made, we made jokes about it. <laughs> He's one of the first people I met in church and his impact in my life has has been tremendous. I mean, it cannot be quantified. Because like scripture says, I think in the book of Proverbs chapter 18, a man with many companions may come to ruin, but there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. 
and I can say for a fact that Nana is that friend that sticks, that stuck closer to me than a brother. And I really appreciate him for that. How is life now with Dixon as a friend? Maybe one thing I didn't mention earlier was in the media team, we are both in the media team. Actually, that's, that's one fun fact of the media team I think I should share before maybe you speak to Dixon, he mentioned it for me, right? Um, Dixon, when Dixon and I first met, around that same time, Dixon joined the media team and he joined the photography team, so he was put under my supervision. Like, I think it's, just, it's, now, it's now that like he, he was to rub shoulders with me and <laughs> all of that. I mean, I mean we're, we're, he was literally in the photography team. He used to call me the board, oh, hello, sir, please, good morning. Can I, hey, do you have anything for like, me to do? Um, hello, sir, please, can I, can I bring my camera? Hello, sir, please, what do you think about the pictures? I'm like, oh, no, stop, 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 stop. But, but, <laughs> but you know, now, so I think life, life now with Dixon, now to, to, the, to the glory of God, he's uh, subbing instead of the video team. And life, life now, and I can see there's still healthy competition, even with he being a subunit head, a fellow subunit head, because I think in the media team, we usually go shoulder, shoulder, you understand? If maybe the video team is doing this, they're going to ask, okay, what's the photography team also doing? Photography team, you're doing this. What's the video team also doing? There's like that healthy competition. Because you know how even the Bible talks about, you know, when people set up their barrels to gather the overflow or to gather the the supply of God, I can see now in business that we have like structures and definite frameworks that's making me see a lot more increase, a lot more sales, a lot more progression in business. Meeting and also, I realized that I could actually be part of the war. I could actually be part of what God was, God is doing in, in our church. So before then, like I said, I just wanted to come. When pastor is done after the grace, ah, I jackpot the place. I don't think, I don't think I would have been this committed if I didn't meet Nano's hair, honestly, I don't think I would have been. I think I would have still just come and go. But after meeting Nano's hair, he made me see the reason why I shouldn't just come and go, I mean, but be a part of the war. I'll probably deny this when, when, when he sees it, but <laughs> it's, he's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm this committed in, in what we are doing. Achievements together with Dixon, I, I, would, I would highlight a few, but we've seen the grace of god we've seen the grace of god at work we've seen the goodness of god at work we have we have seen we are we are literally testimonies we have testimonies to to share several ones achievements oh boy <laughs> there are some i can't see on camera but <laughs> I... <laughs> yeah <laughs> if i could mention notable achievements i would definitely talk about sometime last year if I'm very correct, Dixon and I took work trips in about eight different countries. And that's a big testimony for us because two years ago when I first met Dixon, the first time we worked together, I think it was somewhere in Tichiman. I remember we struggled to pick a bus, and we don't get to bus, we went to sit inside Prague, yeah, then the bus, it was not going, then they said we should get there and walk. I mean, it was a whole, so two years later, when we look back and we see um, the, tes the testimonies and then the grace of God, even in our business where we've gone international, if I could mention just a few countries, I mean, there's Nigeria, there's France, there's the Netherlands, there's Switzerland, there's Belgium, there's Luxembourg, they have been, you know, going from city to city, taking photos here and there, taking videos here. Dixon, <laughs> Dixon makes a certain statement a lot of times and it's in trees, like, they are, okay, let me just translate it in English. Well, like an adult to see sitting down, a young girl does started. So he's always trying to say that when, like, maybe he's trying to counsel me or something, maybe I want to do something, he's like, no, he's trying to tell me that. He has been on the earth for, for decades, so like I should listen to him. And I've, I've, I mean, I appreciate his counsel so much. I appreciate his counsel so much. You see, that times he usually send me down, hey, don't do that. Like he's literally telling me, don't do that. I'm just, I'm just like, there's also like, I really want to flare up on something. And it just takes Dixie to tell me not to do it. And then I can't. I can't really, as much as we are friends, I also give him that respect as my big brother. I can't even you know, talk back at him. So I have to just, ah, I have to just get angry. Like, I am, it's so how to get angry. I'm already angry. Like, I'm just about to go and tell the person in my mind or something. And next to me, like, hey, 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 sit down. I'm like, like, sit down. 
love is the greatest achievement that we could talk about even in addition to the international grades we've seen we've worked with top clients this year okay i mean in the past year we've worked with top clients like top clients multinational clients that when i started photography i really didn't think when i started photography normal birthday shoots cover shoots we charge the persons of dress up in those water cover shoots by birthday party like those kind of things but achievers this year have entered places I've entered places that I would I never I never thought I'd enter when I started photography. I mean when I entered photography this I didn't think we'd shoot for the office of the president. I didn't think we'd shoot for multinational companies. I, I, I didn't think any of that. I never thought in I never thought that would happen because so one great achievement is he has really helped me with my vision. He has helped me with my price and if you can ask me even now for my day rate. My day rate was, it was something I used to have before. I just, oh, anything you have, I didn't want to come off as being too harsh. I just mentioned the price, but now I even have like a proper day rate and everything. So these are very great achievements that I'll definitely not leave out. There's never been a meeting that I have had to be in that, I mean, I didn't call and now say, I know that if, if I'm unsure about something, and I speak to Nana, he's always going to speak the mind of God on the matter. And it's, it's been an amazing, time with him so far. What do I love about Dixon? I love Dixon's humility. You know, Dixon is someone everyone loves, right? From, you know, all levels of authority, everyone loves Dixon. Dixon is that kind of person that you will want to talk to about something. Dixon is that kind of person who's devoted his heart, his life to serving God. Because some of the things Dixon does for church sometimes, it was like, I, I, celebrate his, I celebrate the grace upon Dixon's life because some of the things he does for church. That times when maybe in two days, he has like a backlog of wedding films or like a backlog of corporate videos to deliver and he's still he's still gonna appear for like the live for like maybe the recordings for church he's still going to edit videos in time there have been times where i remember during the serial hunter movie premiere this is the editor video in three days like he was literally not sleeping I, I was i was looking out for him i was just thinking that this guy is doing a lot one thing i love about dixon is his service to god he he serves god purely i remember pastor made a statement once that that people who who like their parents give birth to them and their life is just for, for God. That's Dixon. Dixon's life is just for God. Like his service to God is very admirable. I really look up to him most of the time, even with the photography team in church. I look up to his style of leadership. Sometimes after church, when he's having meetings with like his members, I'm just sitting now looking at him. I'm just like, I, I really just admire his service, his passion for like the work. He's very dedicated. I really admire that. Another thing I admire is his wisdom. Dixie is, is old. Dixie is old, so like his mind has opened. <laughs> his mind has really opened. His, his mind. Dixie is. is good. <laughs> Dixie is good. Yeah, he has seen a lot of things on this earth. So like, I really admire that. You know, he, he always he always has something to like see. He has a word in season all the time. He always responds with love. There have been times where maybe something something happens and. You would think that he should be angry, but he just respond with love. Oh, that's that's very wonderful. That's one thing I really love about Dixon. Then also, he's a selfless individual. There are things where I know that this thing I'm going to ask him will be an inconvenience. Like, but he will say, oh, "Okay, sure." I mean, there were times where I had to probably go do a shoot. He had to also go go do a shoot. Then I'll go like, "Oh, child," and I'll say, "My shoot, what's up? Can I get your car?" And even though he equally has something to do, he, he will willingly give it to me. He will willingly give it to me. And like, there are times where I know that Charlie, this thing, this thing I'm going to ask Charlie, Charlie, it's, it's a stretch, but Nana said will willingly do that. He will willingly do it for me. And it's, he showed me that you can love, you can love someone expecting nothing in return. Very selfless, very selfless to the core. I love that so much about him because uh, with that, I've, I've also learned that I can equally be that selfless. I can equally be that caring. Nanose has really been, been, been good to me. He's been an exceptional friend. He's made me experience a kind of friendship that epitomizes the love of God towards us because it's, it's always one selfless act after the other. I love you, sir. <laughs> Anytime I want to say I love him, I have to say, and yeah, I love you, sir. Dixon has been a wonderful person to me. I thank God of every member of Dixon. I mean, not every member, but like most of the members of Dixon. I, I really thank God for him. And you know how the Bible says, in thy light, we also see light. 
in Dixon's light, in Dixon's grace, I've experienced grace, in Dixon's knowledge, in Dixon's wisdom, I've experienced that too, in Dixon's, in Dixon's passion, I've tapped his passion too, in Dixon's, in Dixon's, Dixon is an amazing person, like, I really would, I really don't know what to say, I, I, I really don't know what to say, I'm very grateful for Dixon, and Dixon, and I just want to let you know that I love you so much. Just, it's just a round of, um, I can, I can say, and he, he can definitely agree that I've changed his life, and um, I look forward to changing more, but <laughs> I've definitely changed his life, I've made him a better person, and uh, see, how, see, see how happy he is. This guy would have been, he would have been in a lot of trouble, he knows it, he would have been in a lot of trouble, if not for wise counsel, counsel for me, so, but all in all, you know, I, yeah, I love you bro. <laughs> oh boy.